Aloha from the Ozarks folks. I got a 16 by 40 garden shed by Graceland and I wanted to show it to you. Just got it on my lot in inventory. This is our T111 plywood siding. This stain on it is called honey gold and this one is just a stained building, not a painted building, but that's 5 inch, inch plywood, T111 plywood. It'll come standard with four windows, a two by three single pane, another two by three single pane, and two more on the back. Your standard door here is a 36 by 80. We call that a nine light for the nine little windows in it. Let's go on inside. First thing that I hope that you notice is plywood in the walls and the floors. Most of the other portable building companies out there do not offer plywood in the walls for sure. And some of them offer an upgrade for plywood in the floor, but it comes with a composite floor. Graceland only does a plywood floor. It's 5 8 inch plywood in both the walls and the floor. It's all pressure treated. All of the lumber that you're looking at is pressure treated and it all comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Okay, uh, metal roof is a red metal roof. I forgot to mention that while I was outside and that metal roof comes with a 25 year warranty and we offer a seven year warranty on workmanship and most of the other companies only do a five year warranty on their workmanship. So there's some major differences between how Graceland does it and the other companies. Let's talk about the walls. Um, all of the lumber that you're looking at is a premium grade of lumber. It costs the company more to buy and use the premium grade lumber, but it gives you a better quality of building when we use premium, which is the only kind of grade of lumber that we buy and use. Four, uh, two by fours are 16 inches apart in the wall studs, just like you would build in a home. And we double reinforce the two by fours every third wall stud or every four feet. So there's double, single, single, double and that's the way we do it all the way down the more wall studs in a wall the stronger and sturdier the wall a lot of the other companies out there space their wall studs at 24 inches instead of 16 so they're further apart therefore they use fewer two by fours therefore in theory their walls are not as strong and sturdy as ours next on your door and window frames we double reinforce every door and window frame and the benefit for you is that the door and the window should open and shut properly once it's installed on your side and level Okay, the other companies, some of them do and some of them do not double reinforce their door and window frames. So that's something you should take a look at and pay attention to. We only ever double reinforce our door and window frames. Okay, so that's important for you to keep in mind. Uh, next, let's talk about the tops of the walls and the bottoms. At the bottom is a single two by four. At the top, we double reinforce the two by fours at the top of our walls. A lot of the other manufacturers save money by only putting a single two by four at the top like you do at the bottom, all right? So keep that in mind. Now let's talk about the roof trusses and, and how they're attached. You'll notice that we use metal hurricane clips to attach our roof trusses to the tops of the walls. Other companies may not use metal hurricane clips or metal hurricane screws. We offer 150 mile an hour wind gust certifications on our buildings and part of the reason we're able to do that is because we use these super strong metal hurricane clips. All right, let's talk about the roof truss. It's a big triangle and you've probably never really paid attention to roof trusses before because they're very standard, it's just a big triangle. But what I do want you to pay attention to is the fact that the base of the triangle, the hypotenuse, if you remember paying attention in school, the bottom of that triangle touches our walls, the tops of our walls. And that's how they're man mounted uh, onto the, the building. Other companies take that bottom, the hypotenuse of the triangle, the bottom of the roof truss, and they put it up higher in the triangle, meaning it's a shorter uh, uh, cross member, okay? That means they save money by buying a smaller piece of wood. We use the longer cross member that goes all the way across and attaches to the tops of the walls. That helps provide lateral stability in the building as well as it makes a stronger roof truss, okay? So you've probably never paid attention on roof trusses before, but now you're educated. Uh, we use two by fours in the roof trusses, also premium grade, also comes with a limited lifetime warranty. Well, the roof itself comes with a 25 year warranty. Now let's talk about the metal roof. Uh, the metal roof is on the outside. The, it's applied on top of roof decking, OSB roof decking, which is standard in the roofing industry. Between the metal roof and the roof decking, we use a moisture barrier. On the inside of this particular roof, we have applied the radiant barrier roof. And that, um, that, that's that looks like aluminum foil, basically is what it looks like. And that reflects out the sun's radiant heat. 97% of the sun's radiant heat gets reflected out because of the radiant barrier that we have applied. That's an optional upgrade available in any Graceland building and it's already applied in this particular building, all right? 
So it makes a huge difference in the summertime heat. Now I'm gonna reach up here with my camera and hope that you can see it. It's very difficult to see. We have a, a soffit vent system that runs all along this sidewall, okay? As well as all along this sidewall. And I'll go outside and aim the camera up so you can see what I'm talking about. Soffit vent right up there, all along the sidewall, okay? That is a Graceland exclusive. And that's for improved airflow. We have a patent on that. But it's for improved airflow. Air goes up and then it goes out. Our screened in roof ridge vent that runs the entire peak of the roof. Screened in to keep out bugs and debris. But it, the air vent systems all work together to help this building stay 10 to 15 degrees cooler in the hot, uh, humid, summertime extreme temperatures. So that makes a big difference. Uh, and then I've talked about the roof. Now I've talked about the walls. And we'll talk about the floors. 5 8 inch plywood floors. The whole thing is fitted together using tongue and groove, okay? That's important for you to know because some other companies don't necessarily use tongue and groove to put their plywood slabs together. Why is that a big deal? Because they're interlocked. That's what tongue and groove means. Each plywood slab is interlocked with every other slab. So it's really like one giant solid floor, gapless and seamless. Though so you see seams, bugs that are underneath this building cannot get up into this building because of the interlocked tongue and groove like that, okay? That's important for you to know. Uh, underneath the floor, in the subfloor, we use two by six floor joists, not two by four wall studs. A lot of other companies use two by four wall studs for their floors. We don't. We only use two by sixes, okay? So that's important for you to know. And like our wall studs, they are 16 inches apart in our floor joists, okay? That's standard in the flooring industry. All right. Now, if you're interested in this particular building, delivery is free within 50 miles of my lot. After that, there is a mileage charge. Um, rent to own options are available for no, and there's no credit check. So you can do a three year, four year, or a five year rent to own, no credit check, and there's no penalty to pay it off early. A lot of other companies penalize you to pay it off early. They lock you into that rental uh, payment every single month. Graceland does not penalize you if you want to pay it off early. That's to your advantage and go ahead and do that. In fact, I encourage people to do that if they're doing rent to own. Uh, if you are interested, what I want you to do is take a look at this video description. In the video description, I'm going to have a link to lots of different things. I'll have a lot of information in that video description. So please take a look at that. I'll have my phone number. You can call me or text me. Easiest thing, just call me or text me. I highly recommend that you text me because if you call me outside of business hours, uh, it won't get to me. But if you text me, it will, and I'm liable to answer you even if it's later in the evening, okay? Uh, the other way, you can message me on Facebook. I do have a Facebook page. Um, you can go to my YouTube Frequently Asked Questions playlist, and I'll have a link to that in the video description. All right, so a lot of different things will be in that video description. I want to encourage you to take a look at those things and feel free to get in contact with me. If you are interested in this building, you know what to do. You know how to get in contact with me. Aloha from the Ozarks.